Hello and welcome to another episode of The Last of Us Part 1. Last episode, we extracted Ellie from uh, Boston, escaped a bunch of FEDRA agents, and made our way to Lincoln, where Bill, one of our smuggling contacts, has created something of a uh, stronghold filled with traps uh, to keep would-be invaders and infected out. Uh, after a bit of a kerfuffle, we met up with Bill, who was pretty ornery and not pleased with us, and we concocted a plan to get a car that would settle his debts with Joel. And here we are. So let's uh, let's immediately begin to look at things we can scavenge around here and move forward. Alrighty. Um, let's see. Huh. So there's a school there and a convoy. I think that's where we need to go, right? There's a cache. Oh, that's St. Paul's Lutheran Church. That's his safe house, right? Uh, if the safe is all the way over there, that must be where we started, right? Uh, ooh, there's an arcade. Interesting. Some traps. So yeah, there's a few more uh, areas. Sammy's Diner. Maybe that's where we saw the first safe. So if so, we've been to both of those greenhouses. Looks like maybe there's a safe all the way up there in an area we can't get to yet. I'm trying to figure out where exactly we are. I think maybe we're on either uh, that Benson Road safe house, the red one there, um, or maybe if we actually made it to the church, we're there. Uh, but I don't think this is a church. This looks like a bar. So we've got to be somewhere in that center area. Unless this happens to be Sammy's diner, I'm not sure. Need to remember to clear the infected by the fences. Third time this month that too many of them uh, were stacking up against the fence, knocking that shit over. Clear the fences. Damn, he's got a fucking stick up his ass. Just stay out of his way. Yes, please. Uh, let's take a look at our supplies really quick. We still have our one shiv, which is great. Two health kits. No Molotovs. We used one last time to escape the Fedra agents. In the future, we have to really work on uh, maximizing damage from uh, thrown weapons. Molotovs are kind of a waste uh, unless we use them really strategically. So blocking off flanking access or hitting multiple enemies, especially on this difficulty. Uh, because they are very powerful tools that we will not get a whole lot of. No alcohol behind the bar. That checks out Ellie. Get out of the way. The fact that she has collision here is a little rough. Um, interesting, though. Let's see. Improved durability of blades. Sharpening. Sharpening a blade reduces the force necessary to cut or puncture, thus increasing the life of the blade. For improvised whetstones, look near bodies of uh, maybe water, sedimentary rocks such as sandstone are the best. Yes, that's true. Place the flat edge as close to the hilt as possible. Run the knife along uh, the rock at a 17 degree angle. That's what it looks like. Uh, too much blood. Not much we can do. Shiv's upgraded though. Dang, nice. I didn't realize there were upgrade books. I totally missed that aspect of the game. Hmm. Hey, you know how to play this? Yeah, pretty badly, yeah. <sighs> I always wanted to learn. Hey, Bobby Fisher, don't touch anything on that board. <laughs> Bobby, what? Hey, just let it go. Old world references that Ellie wouldn't know at all. For those watching, Bobby Fisher is pretty much considered like the goat of chess. Maybe not anymore, but at a certain point he was. Look at all these. Definitely dev team. <laughs> Hardtail Hanks. I wonder if that's on the map, let's check.
Nope, doesn't seem to be listed anywhere. All right, we have 104 scrap. It would be great if we could find a place to use that. I guess I need tools to do that, though. I need tools to get the holster upgrade that I wanted. Found everything you need. We're good. All right, Ellie, come on. Don't leave the door open. I got it. We have to cross to the other building. Up the stairs. Let's move it. Just stay with me. I can't believe you agreed to this bullshit, Bill. What you should have done was just left him back there. We can hear you, man. You weren't kidding about him. Yeah, he's one of a kind. Let me take a look around up here. Nothing in here that I need. I saw a hey, group of hunters coming dangerously close to town. Luckily, a pack of infected chased them off. Reminder, put up more warning signs. Let them know you're serious. I can go into nope and it doesn't look like there's anything in here wow even in the dark like moss and grass clippings have accumulated i guess through the vents on the top right i guess if it has open air access to up there where everything is overgrown it makes sense okay that's the church oh so we are in that little green safe house next to the church so if we look here we must be like right either there across from Sammy's Diner or right in that Shady Grove Road uh, section right now. So yeah, we are going like the opposite direction of that safe that was marked on the map, so it looks like that's something that we will not get access to. What kind of trouble are you in? Where the hell's Ted? It's just a job. S simple drop-off. What are you delivering? <laughs> <laughs> that little brat? Haha, <laughs> fuck you too. <laughs> You know, I, I hope you know what you're doing. Are you kidding me with this guy? So where are we going, Bill? Well, yeah, this guy. <laughs> more of an armory. Wait, I thought we were going to fix up a car. <laughs> we? You know how to fix Bill, a... just... That's like I said, what I need's on the other side of town. Now, that side I don't ever go to because it's filled with infected. So we're going to need more guns. Anything in here? No. I mean, it's actually smart of Bill to not scavenge so close to one of his safe houses, right? Because worst case scenario, if he needs to hunker up, he can grab things uh, as he's running, right? Even though it would be most people's first uh, impulse to clear out an area immediately around them, uh, it makes it so that each time they have to travel, Alongside. it's dangerous. Oh. I needed to take care of that. Relax, it's nothing. So, you didn't answer my question about Tess. Yeah, I thought the two of you were inseparable. She's busy. Yeah, sure. Busy. Sounds to like that. Oh, might be trouble in paradise. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Bill here, as we'll find out, is weirdly interested in go. Tess and Joel's relationship for reasons that will become more clear. Why don't you fix one of these cars? Oh my god, you're a genius. I mean, the whole time, why on earth hadn't I thought about fixing one of these cars? Okay, don't be a dick. Their tires are rotted and their batteries are dead. <sighs> are you done? I can't even begin to think what the inside of the engine block looked like. Only ones making new car batteries are the military. God damn it. <laughs> Lock and load. <laughs> Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. How do I hit them when they're on me? I thought I had the ability to. Maybe I have to hit triangle? Oh, 
Having Ellie take care of that first uh, clicker was pretty excellent that first time, so this is rough. We're <laughs> shooting up to Bill and fighting to Ellie when we can, because they are in a much less tenuous position than us. Hit triangle to kill it. That screws us though. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I should have just let myself die and restart. All right. You gotta check the barricades again. You neglect the simple shit, and now you're paying for it. You know what that means? Taking all the supplies from the warehouse. Okay. Now he's talking to himself. Again. Uh, then it'll take Bill, Joel, this way. All right. Anything over here? <clears throat> and up we go. Guess we got another. We got bricks. I should have relied more heavily on them rather than wasting that shiv. Shivs are too important a resource. Oh well. I'm a little bit, a little bit bummed about that. You but. picked a hell of a place to hold up, didn't you? You know, as bad as those things are, at least they're predictable. The normal people that scare me. You of all people should understand that. What does that mean? Nothing. You sure that gate's gonna hold them? Well, I locked it. They don't have a key. So which way? We're here. It's in the cellar. Huh. All right, do the church we go. All right, down here. Well, here we are. You don't touch anything. And you close the door. Let's gear up. Uh-uh. What? I need a gun. No, you don't. Joel, I can handle myself. No. Just stay here. It's fine. I'll just wait around for you two to get me killed. Well, this goes on record as the worst fucking job you've ever taken. Hey, it's up there. How in the hell is Tess okay with this suicide mission? Actually, her idea. Really? Well, the broad's not as smart as I thought she was. But, fuck her. Seriously, you gotta take that kid back to where you found her. I can't just take her back. Then send her packing, let her find her own way. Look, let me tell you a story. Once upon a time, I had somebody that I cared about. A partner. Somebody I had to look after. And in this world, that sort of shit's good for one thing. Getting you killed. So you know what I did? Why isn't the fuck up? And I realize it's got to be just me. Bill, it ain't, it ain't like that. It's bullshit. It is just like that. Hey! What'd I say to you when we walked down the steps? What'd I say? I'm just fixing your stupid pile. Don't touch. God damn it. You keep babysitting long enough, and eventually it's going to blow up in Bill, your face. Can we please just get on with it? Let's get on with it. All right, before we go any further, I got something I gotta show you. What you got? New toy from the toy box. Huh. All right, let's scavenge. I doubt we'll find too much here. Um, but again, 
Me as well, right? I thought there would be more stuff in here. Just in general, like, you know, maybe like a church pamphlet or something that would get some dialogue, but I guess not. Group of runners triggered most of the bombs on the south side of the town. It's time to do another pass. Don't forget to mark the map with all bomb locations. There we go, got some pills. How many do I have now? I have 10, okay. I always feel like I have more, I guess not. Nope, can't go up here. Is that duct tape? No, nope, that's rubble. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not so great for us. Tools, perfect. We can make uh, the thing I want to make now, the holster. Perfect. I knew they were going to be around here somewhere. It only makes sense, right? Yeah, let's do this. Time to go to work. Alrighty. Uh, long gun holster or short gun holster? This makes sense, we only have two short guns, and they are really important to have for uh, quick ammunition and stuff. Can't make the secondary holster. How much uh, do we need for it? 75, okay. Uh, this could be really useful. But again, I don't think it makes much sense to upgrade anything yet until we get those holsters because it's yeah, gonna be very, good. very important to just have access to weaponry quickly than it is going to be to actually use that weaponry and like reload in combat and things like that. This is a nail bomb. And you gotta be really careful. This thing blows, it shreds anybody standing nearby. Yeah, I've seen your handiwork. Ugh. Such a awful thing to use. So we got someone. shotguns and bombs. What the hell are we doing with them? Well, every few weeks this military caravan rides through town. I assume they're out looking for supplies. I mean, you, you'd be amazed at the shit that they overlook. Anyway, a few months back, they were rolling through and they get overrun by this horde of infected. They were all over the truck. It plows right in the side of the high school. Still sitting there with a the battery in it. So we take that battery and we put it in another car. Bingo. I wanted to get it, but it seemed too dangerous with all the infected on that part of town. Like, fuck it. Joel needs a car. Hey, what if it's damaged? Nah, those trucks are like tanks. It's just sitting there. Makes it might work.
Huh. All righty, Bill. Let's get moving. Kid, I swear to God, if you took anything... Hey, man, I don't need any of your shit. Trust me. Joel, you are keeping an eye on her, right? Like a hawk. If she did take anything, this wow. is just a church safe house, too. Nice it's not even here. his main place. Well, if you got anything to confess, this would be the place to do it. Alright. Time to sack up. Come on. Look, there's a school. All right. Ready? Guess we'll find out. Is there a brick over here I could pick up? I guess I already have one. Okay. Come on, you don't need to be looking at that. I've seen worse. All right, then. Let's get a move on. Any of these names, ones we would be familiar with? Tiffany Chu. Castro. Adrian and Lauren. New territory to me. I'm on it. Hey, hey, you guys hear that? Keep quiet. Yeah. So this area has lots of different um, types of tiles to step on, and it can be really dangerous to walk through water here because it makes sound. However, if I remember correctly... <laughs> ...should be relatively easy to sneak through. <laughs> oh god. I hit the wall. Oh no. <laughs> so yeah, this is an area where it would be really nice to have uh, various different like shivs and stuff. Walk down this way. Yep, good. <laughs> Wait, why is he coming already? What? How did they see me? Got him. That was a nice <laughs> All right, let's see what we can do here. All right, so we have a nail bomb 
which I think will gather, I think I can throw it and it will gather things, right? Gather the attention. So I want to put it in a relatively central place. Oh no, <laughs> I didn't realize it was right behind me. Alright, I think we've gotten to our first very difficult combat encounter in the game. I want to see if killing this thing... Do they know exactly where I am? Oh, this might be a good use of our um, cover. Oh no. <laughs> okay, I guess not. Taking out just a few of them. Maybe if I were to put down the nail bomb, right? All right. We have two health kits. So we have plenty of healing. However, having mass AoE damage, especially on these guys, is pretty useful. However, if I can trick a bunch of them into getting hit by the nail bomb, that might be a good use. What the? Okay. Why are you over here? Go away. Nope. Did not seem to attract the attention. Right, let's get it over with a free reset. And the way they swing their arms so wildly is like so gross. It makes it very clear that they are hardly even human anymore. Gonna have to be really careful. Great, I only got one of them with that. Anyways. Oh no. 
if I can get two of them with the nail bomb, that will be worth it, right? Uh, because the whole point of an AoE is like, again, to do damage to multiple enemies at once. throw this at the ones that come to investigate, right? Because there will be some that come to investigate, right? Come on, give me something to work with. <laughs> it really doesn't want me to have anything to work with, huh? Switch over to this bottle, throw that to gather them all up, and then Molotov them. Alright, and they lit themselves on fire. Is that gonna kill them? You would think it is. It does look like it's doing enough damage to kill them. Alrighty then, look at that. Efficient use of supplies. <laughs> uh, now, I don't want to make too much noise because I cannot say one way or another if we are in the clear, but... We are not in the clear. Are there two? Looks like there are two. Can I take down two clickers? That is the question. I guess I could distract them, right? That was not intended. I did not want them that close. Thankfully, there is another brick right here, so it's not a waste. I mean, it is a waste, but it's not game ending, <laughs> run ending, right? Wait, what? The one... How did that one get me? I thought I blew that thing up. 
All right, I think we have the right strategy now, though. Now we pick up this bottle. Throw it over there. Throw that over there. There we go, we've taken care of three of them. Now we just gotta be careful over here if the next two actually come up the stairs or not. I don't know exactly what triggered them last time. Right, there's one over there, which is the one that saw me. hard to get a read on where exactly they're going. I mean, obviously that's the point, right? And so there are three that I can confirm are over there. Very good. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> That's pretty dangerous. And I don't have a brick anymore because I threw my brick, so I'm going to have to find another one. Oh, I have a brick. We're good. The question is, can I kill... I think there are five left. Run up the stairs, come on, run up the stairs. I think we just need to get to that door. So that makes two. perfect run it's when they're they're densely packed like that that it becomes a, a real issue <laughs> That's bad. Craft right. a Molotov really quickly. I wonder if there's a different way we can go about this. Let's see what the bow and arrow is, is like.
Oh, we can use that to hit these things. Got the bow and arrow. Is it enough to kill them? Oh, unless I use all the ammo, I guess. Can I go and pick up the ammo that I lost? I can. Okay, maybe I can get four with this one. They would die more quickly, but that's a good idea. All right. So if I use my Molotov correctly, I can get four of them with the Molotov. If I use bow and arrow well, I can get one with the bow and arrow. Not really what I wanted, but... Okay, I can get that arrow back. Okay, and there's instantly no way around. <laughs> Come on, let me step on fire. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, hey, you know what? It's fine. I used one bullet, one Molotov. I didn't use my bomb, though, so that's good. And I think I can pick up the arrow that I launched over here that missed. If I'm lucky, maybe? I don't know exactly where I landed, though. Here we go. In that tree. Perfect for me. All right, there's still some around. There are three around. Oh, okay, that sucks. And that one's still alive. Or it was. Right. Oh, and there was a secret one down there. Hey, we did it, it. finally. Not in the clear yet. All right, so that's pretty rough. That used a lot of our resources, but I think at a certain point, we have to be okay with that, right? We simply have what we have. Let me just scavenge to see if... I think there is another brick I can go grab. That would be great for me. Is there something right here? Oh, it's a bottle. Oh, no, I already have a brick. I thought I, I, thought I broke it when I smacked them. What the heck? There we go. I cannot climb on top of these. I was curious the whole time if I could. <laughs> Locked. Wait, what? Hold up. I got a key for that gate. I suggest we move quietly. All righty. Easy, easy.
Move back this way to scavenge to the best of our ability. Yeah, there's nothing here. about this place, were you? Very dangerous. All right, there's one right on the other side of this fence. Okay, I think this is mostly a sneaking challenge. I don't think I need to kill any of them. Which is good for us because we really don't have the resources to do that right now anyway. There's lots of cover too, so. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. Yeah, baby. No, I pressed attack instead of jump. I thought that was a ledge, so I was going to try to jump over it. All right. So, yeah, we're going to... Wait, I lost... How did I lose my brick? What the... Did the game, like, autosave in a weird way after I, uh... After I threw it? That's awful. Well, you weren't kidding about this place, were you? So loud, and yet it doesn't hurt anyone. Quickly, we should be able to get through here without loading anything. The lady infected should be somewhere over there. Yeah, wandering towards the house now. is I don't know where I'm going exactly. <laughs> I think it's through here, right? All right. Things are not so dangerous this? right now. This way. All righty. It's tied on the other side. What about going through here? What, the doggy door? I mean, you could just cut the rope, right? <clears throat> Be very careful. Of course. 
Maybe you should have given her a gun. Okay, Bill. One of those clicker things inside the house. All righty, oh, right. shit. They ain't seen us yet. Just stay down. Careful. I don't think I can go back through there, so whatever resources were back there is uh, our forfeit. I don't have anything to throw, and I don't want to go into full-on combat here. So what do we do? Do we climb on top? Can I can I climb this? I don't think so. What will wake them? Yeah, I cannot climb. I'm gonna have to fight them, I think. <laughs> oh, I can't fight them without a or a weapon. Alright, this might be tough. This might be really tough. I don't know if we can really walk over here without waking that one up, though. Oh, we can. Okay. Phew! We're gonna just have to be slow and steady here. Way too fucking creepy. There's one right there. How many are in the house? Let's get an accurate count. So far, there are two outside, one down here. We definitely are going to need to go up those stairs, though. Is there anything in here we can use? No. Bummer. I do want to go up those stairs, so I'm going to risk it. In worst case scenario, we just have to walk slowly through again. Is that duct tape? No, that's a potted plant, it looks like. Is there anything in this room for me? It does not look like it. Alright. Oh, I can't go up the stairs. Okay, perfect. In that case, we can guiltlessly leave the house. Is there anything we can use? That's good. Scrap. Nice. Ah. Very good. Oh, just into a treehouse. I guess Bill's pretty clever when it comes to this sort of thing. It's like urban engineering of this these places that already exist. As crazy as he is, as dangerous as he is, Bill is admittedly very handy. Uh, and it makes sense why he and Frank would be such good smugglers and such a resource for Tess and Jewel in the past. I mean, granted, Tess and Joel probably aren't their only contacts, but I would be willing to bet they are pretty important to the whole operation. Because as we know, Tess and Joel basically ran the black market in the QZ. Hmm. Anything in here? Anything good for us? Nope. I think we're good. For now. God damn those things. Nobody's bitten, right? Nope. I'm good. We're all fine. Let's just keep going. Alrighty. Check out upstairs. First off, make sure nothing uh, 
that's waiting up here for us, and two, to make sure that we're scavenging everything properly, because we really haven't been doing a good job of playing it slow on that front. Oh, a kid's room. Always depressing to see this sort of thing. Oh, wow. Tiny little journal. October 4th. It's official. School is closed indefinitely. Guess this outbreak is good for something. No school equals no homework, which is fine by me. Now what do I do with all this free time? October 5th. Mom and Dad were fighting. They were somehow yelling at each other while whispering at the same time. It sounded like Mom wants to leave, go to her sister's. Dad says it's safe here, but the outbreak won't reach our town. October 6th. Dad yelled at me for listening to the radio. He says that the news is bullshit. Mom agreed with him while putting on a brave face, but I can tell she's scared. They both look scared. October 7th. I think Dad felt bad about yesterday. Gadget was asleep in my bed and Dad didn't say anything about it. He came in, petted him, sighed, and walked out. I've never seen him like this. October 10th. Dad was consoling Mom last night. Aunt Karen is dead. At least that's what I think I heard. When we sat for breakfast, everyone was all quiet, as if nothing happened. I played along. October 15th. Officer Jones stopped by and chatted with Dad. More like whispered with Dad. Lots of that going around these days. Afterwards, Dad told us that we have to leave town. We have to go to a new home. That the military will protect us. I'm only allowed to bring one bag with me. Mom just sat there. October 16th. Where we are going, there are no pets allowed. We drove to the edge of town with Gadget. I took off his collar and let him go. On the drive back, Dad kept talking about how he'll be fine. He's meant to be free in the wild. Whatever. October 17th. It's time. Dad says we'll be back before we know it. I think he's full of it. Yep. Hey, you got a second? Sure. Yeah. I... I just want to say I'm sorry about Tess. That's it. I, I won't bring it up again. Ellie, you don't need to worry about me. You should go check on Bill. Okay. It's very kind of Ellie to say that, you know, especially because it isn't actually her fault at all. You know, she wasn't the one who created the situation, and she wasn't the one with any power to make Tess agree to it. What happened, happened, and it had nothing really directly to do with Ellie, or rather, Ellie wasn't an agent in the matter. She isn't responsible, though she is part of it, so it is very kind of her to say, uh, to say that. <laughs> I tell you, there's that truck sticking out of the school right there. Come on. All righty. I think this is where we're going to end the episode there's for today. There's a bunch of them up there. Try not to make a sound. Thanks so much for watching, and next time, we'll go to the school. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Let's just make a quick save. All righty. Peace out, everyone.